Good morning, greetings. We'll give it a few more minutes for folks to be able to come on in, but anticipating kind of a short meeting today, so. Also, I know that Liz is out, so um, you get me this morning instead of Liz, so yay fun. Yeah, we'll give folks a few more minutes to come on in. And also making sure that I can see some of the app delivery folks. Thomas, you might be on the spot this morning, we'll see. Dims, I already caught you, so you're good to go. Out of curiosity, who signed in as uh, Tag Security? Oh, that's me. I... Okay, cool. No, 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 that's perfect. I was like, I know, like, it's a very limited amount of people that can actually be Tag Security. So, well done. <laughs> cool. All right, we've got 26 folks in the line, so I will go ahead and get us started in here. Um, welcome. Normal antitrust policy applies here. You have made it to the meeting because this is the August 3rd meeting. Um, then it's kept over in the TOC working doc. So our morning today is going to be tag updates and we'll be talking about projects applying the move levels. Um, happy to be able to take any other items of business as well, but we will rock and roll with tag app delivery, which may or may not have updated their slides. So we'll see. Um, Thomas, do you have anything for tag app delivery? So um, I'm not really sure if Alice will join the meeting. Um, so uh, there's nothing nothing really new from our side. Um, yes, we're currently uh, dealing with the depot submission. Um, they will present their project in the next two weeks. Um, furthermore, and this is wrong in the slides here, the operator white paper has been released. Um, and yes, therefore, therefore this is finished. And another thing which is also, also wrong in the, in the slides today is that we sent out um, um, a request for public comments for the cooperative delivery working group. So uh, everything, is, everyone is free to, to comment on this and uh, we would like to have a vote of the of the TOC regarding this working group to get to get this started. Um, yes. Uh, furthermore, there's nothing really new from our, our technical advisory group at the moment. Do you have a link for the um, wait upper white paper? I know you've got it over in the um, uh, slides as well, and see, folks can see that. I'm sorry. Uh, do you have a link for the? Uh, operator white paper ready at hand so folks can yes. view. Perfect, thank you. Drop it in the chat when you have it. Yes. Perfect, all right. Um, I'm not seeing anybody else from app delivery unless they'd like to be able to have themselves now. All right, we will hop on towards contributor strategy and I know we've got some folks here from them. Yep. Perfect. Uh, good morning, uh, short and sweet because um, the, um, um, it's summer 2021 and lots of people are in PTO. Um, so as a result, not a lot has happened in the last month. Um, we're currently choosing a tag logo, um, uh, which the designers at CNCF have given us several suggestions. Um, the recruiting playbook is in review feedback with our, um, TOC liaisons. Um, if you want to take a look at that, uh, there's going to be some changes to it uh, that they've suggested. Um, and then next we'll be going to community CRM, um, which is a, a tool recommendation. And that's kind of it for this month. 
All right, any questions? Anybody else have anything to add as far as work going on and take a tribute strategy? All right, seeing no questions in chat and nothing else in here, drop onto network. And Lee, I know you're here and I know that I think you for slides here. Um, so I'll just let you do it live. Okay, thank you. Yeah, sure. I, the, the slide is, um, so, I, so I'm very tardy on filling it in, but it is up to date and I don't, yeah, I'm not gonna make you awkwardly refresh it. I hope that, um, <laughs> you get one, you get one per meeting, so it's fine. Okay, all right, <laughs> <Good. laughs> Give uh, me a second. Sure. Um, thank you for that. So, um, yeah, you know, not, not a dissimilar um, story from what Josh just said. I, I um, There have been some folks on vacation. Actually, uh, uh, I attempted to take some myself. That didn't really work out. Uh, as a side note, um, there are a couple of projects that are under active review. So um, Cilium is actively under review, um, going through due diligence, which is concluding. Um, I think we are uh, ready to is um is justin with us no i don't believe so but that is good updates thank you but, Continue. But yeah <laughs> yeah but we're but it's there it's done it's it's ready to um he's done i'm done um and the write-up is quite concise <laughs> but the dil but diligence was done and so um that just needs to be uh, sent to uh or Justin, Justin just needs to take that forth and uh, make it you know, public, I guess. Um, Chaos Mesh presented this last uh, TAG Network meeting, and they are currently a, a current sandbox project. They're proposing for um, incubation. Uh, a link to their incubation proposal is there. I'll just a, a short couple of comments. Just they. It had been um, like almost to the day, a year since they were had presented their sandbox proposal, and um, the project itself has done built quite the community. Uh, has any number of adopters? I mean, they've just done very well. Just it, watching them go from you know just just having started up to to where that to where that project is now. So, so it was nice. I'm not. I'm not that wasn't my plus one per se, but it just it's just kind of a nice reflection to see that, that happening and to see folks, um, you know, really taking community um, to heart. So, uh, big announcement. Um, if you haven't seen press releases and things, is uh, Linkerd uh, graduation accepted? Graduated uh, is now is now there. So, we're clearly very proud of that project. Uh, other sandbox projects were had been accepted uh, recently. An order of business is overdue, and I mentioned this last time that we met, and that is a nomination of an additional co-chair. Currently, it's uh, myself, Lee Calcote, uh, Ken Owens, and uh, we'd like to nominate a, a co-chair, Ed Warnicky. Uh, Ed is uh, a distinguished engineer at Cisco. Uh, and has been quite active in TAG Networks meetings and helping um, steward already. So it's nice to be able to, I think this is you know, hopefully more of a, a recognition of the fact that this individual's sort of already performing that stewardship. So we just need to get the uh, nomination sent out. Yeah, um, I think we'll forego an update on the working groups because it, not much has progressed since last we met. So. All right, thank you for the update. Like I said, you get one free refresh every meeting. No, no worries. <laughs> that is great. Um, yeah, and thanks for the uh, update on the projects. Um, I'll watch for the nomination for Ed again. So, um, any questions, comments, notes? All right, thank you, Lee. Moving on, tag observability. Yes. Uh, we are also feeling the summer slump. We are even considering to simply skip the meeting next or uh, in two weeks. Uh, we will we'll put that to the question in the meeting in a few. Um, we had a few presentations um, which are recorded, so anyone who wants to see them, uh, more than welcome. Um, one project is considering donating itself to CNCF, that's the Prometheus operator, um, which is obviously quite close to Prometheus, which is why I suggested if they wouldn't prefer to join Prometheus or Prometheus community as GitHub orgs, 
um, they're taking this internally and, and will get back to the tech, but um, just as an FYI, they're considering donating themselves. And also Logonos, uh, Logo News, it's currently ongoing, um, but we are waiting for updates from, from the artists. That's on me. Just... I will check in on that one. So. Thank you. Oh, happy to help. Questions, comments, anything else coming up for tag observability? Yeah, Lena, go ahead. Uh, one question. Uh, the presentations recording, Richie, where can we find them? Um, I will get you the YouTube link. We are recording. I'll get you the YouTube link while, while we're on the call. Thank you. If you could post it in chat, it would be perfect. It, it, it's part of the normal um, of the normal tag. So it's just part of the normal recording, but I'll, I'll look up that list and put it in chat. Thanks. Great. Sorry. Thank you. Other questions? Um, All right, I'm seeing no one else come on in, so tag runtime. Hey, good morning. Hello. Uh, yeah, so we've had a few meetings, so um, yeah, some updates on the projects and the containers and runtime space. Um, Wasm Cloud, Wasm Cloud presented. Uh, in our last meeting, so that uh, it, they became a, a, a sandbox project too. So they they were called differently. They were called WASCC, uh, and they changed their, their names and they applied uh, uh, for sandbox in the CNCF, and they got approved. Uh, and then so we have uh, some other sandbox projects that are related that are that are ready got accepted. So one of them is Crosslet that allows you to run uh, WebAssembly with Kubernetes. Another one is uh, Crater and that one is a Kubernetes state machine, Kubernetes operator state machine. And another project that got accepted together was ORAS, which is OCI registry uh, storage. All those projects are related and they're already in sandbox. We also have a presentation from uh, the folks in the Kata containers community. Uh, they're going to be talking about confidential containers on September 2nd. Uh, so that's using a trusted execution environment. So we're looking forward to that presentation. In the AI Edge, and machine learning operation space, Volcano, which is a project in Sandbox. They're presenting on August 26th. They're going for incubation. Uh, and yeah, so that one is machine learning workloads do and in batch uh, workloads on top of Kubernetes. Uh, another project called the ML Flow, which does end-to-end -end machine learning. It's scheduled to present on August 5th. That's our next meeting on Thursday. And then finally in projects in KubeDL, that's deep learning uh, or Kubernetes deep learning workloads. And that's already in the CNCF and Sandbox, but they're presenting to give an overview of the project on August 19th. And as far as the uh, tag runtime activities, uh, we, we are also choosing a logo. Uh, so in our next meeting, we'll discuss that. So there's uh, six proposals, so we'll choose uh, one of them. And then we also have a KubeCon North America uh, maintainer session schedule. And yeah, that's all that I have for the updates. Very good. I like how you seem to be partial to one particular logo. Yeah, yeah. So I like that one, but we'll see. Okay. I'll watch that space for more. Um, questions, comments from the group? All right. Thank you, Tag Runtime. Security. 
Hello again, everyone. Just Hello. some quick updates from us. Um, we have a new micro survey out specifically on cloud native security. We are looking to collect information from uh, various respondents to help make the content that security tag delivers more actionable, more relevant and useful for the community. So if you haven't already done so, please take the time to complete the survey and share amongst your colleagues and friends. That way we can solicit input from the widest audience possible. We've also got a new security resources section within our repository for projects. This was the cum uh, culmination of actually it's a, one of our oldest issues that we've had um, this came out of the security pals pilot that is still ongoing as well as some additional feedback from the community so you'll find within that uh, subdirectory information about embargo how to create a responsible vulnerability disclosure policy and some templates within it we also recently had our half year review of our security roadmap. Um, we have a lot of things that are currently ongoing. Four of those major projects we're hoping to close out very soon um, with two more projects kicking off. We also had 52 submissions for uh, Cloud Native Security Con. It is now closed. We actually had two more come in very late, so we're up to 54 now. And the quality of the submissions this go round has been stellar and phenomenal. And we've got a lot of really hard decisions to sort through everything. Um, so this will probably be one of the most successful uh, Cloud Native Security events that we'll, we've had. We also ha recently had a presentation on shift left automatic generation of network policies, which uh, was a proposal to automate the um, generation of Kubernetes network policies for just the right amount of connectivity. They had some good feedback on that that occurred on July 21st. And that is everything. Excellent. Thank you. Um, yeah, go ahead. I would, uh, this is Josh. I would love to see the security resources for projects get merged into the contribute site um to, to have everything in one place for the maintainers so i'll i'll ping your tag later um okay come up with a way to do that yeah uh just hit us up on slack in our channel or you can dm me directly and we'll work to get, make that happen cool thank you okay other questions All right, seeing no questions and thank you for the update. Moving on to tag storage. Hi, this is Xin from tag storage. Yay, go ahead. Uh, so in tag storage, there are three projects that have applied for incubation. Uh, the first one is Langhorn. We are currently doing a DD for that. Uh, a survey has been sent out to the end users. And so far we received uh, results from three production users. And so we are going through those. And Louise has been uh, going over their um, project repos, doing some deep dives and working with the project team to do the reviews. So that is going well. And the second one, uh, TrueBarFS, we have a draft DD doc and Rafael has been reviewing the doc and providing feedback to the project team. So that is also ongoing. And the third one, open EBS, uh, there were some concerns regarding some of the licenses used in the project. The project team has been working on addressing those issues. I think most of those are addressed now. Uh, and the project team is working with the OpenZFS community, trying to upstream some of the changes they made to ZFS. So that is ongoing. And we are going to schedule a meeting with the Open EBS team uh, to go over the current status and trying to come up with recommendation to TOC. And so in addition to the uh, three projects that are under review, uh, the three tag has been working on the cloud native disaster recovery white paper. Uh, so we have been discussing that in our tech calls. 
and I think all the review comments have been addressed. The doc is ready. Uh, so we're planning to send it out to the TOC mailing list to get wider reviews. And so now that the uh, DRY paper is in good shape, we are going to go back to the performance and benchmarking web paper and trying to finalize that. So that's all from the tech storage. Great. Um, I know we've got Saad and um, Harry on the line as far as um, for both Longhorn and Chubau. Any updates there from those TOC folks? Saad, come on in. Uh, yeah, I need to sync up with Luis on the results of the uh, survey. Uh, so I'll try to do that offline. Okay. And Harry, Chubau. Yeah, for uh, Trubo FS, I uh, just had a meeting with their maintainers. So um, they are currently um, still need to update several parts in the due diligence doc. And uh, the job is already submitted to the tag for uh, the tag chairs for um, final final review. So this is current status. So I will say the due diligence doc um, could be finished um, in the next few weeks. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions around um, storage? All right. Thank you, Tag Storage. I did jump the gun a little bit about being able to chat about like um, projects that we're currently moving around. Um, the, I've made an error on the slide. Kate is currently in voting. Um, questions out here as far as things moving ahead. We've got updates from Cilium as well. We've got updates from Chubao. Anyone that anyone else wants to be able to talk about here? All right, seeing no one unmute, that basically covers our agenda today. Any other items that we need to drop in? Um, briefly, is is um, right, I'm yeah, I'm obligated to bring up um, Chaos Mesh. I don't know if those folks have, were successful in, they're currently proposing for incubation. And I don't know if those, that team was successful in landing a sponsor for it. And so I don't, so I apologize. I don't know if this is the list that, okay, yep. That, yes, um, it's labeled. Yes, this is just the people with sponsors up here. <laughs> um, the projects waiting for sponsors are over in the public working doc and I will drop gotcha. that into chat as well. That is a perfectly fine question. And I will take a note to add that into this slide for next time. Like here's the link for like where you should be looking for projects that aren't listed here. You want, Other questions? Yeah. yeah go ahead. Yeah, one thing with the voting or the, the projects, the projects in voting, um, maybe uh, we can show the number of votes that they have already and how many are remaining. Um, so, you know, I'm speaking for CADA that, that is out for voting and that's within the scope of the tag runtime. So I'm not really sure how many votes they need to go into or to get past to go into incubation. Add these. Um, I'm not going to do it right now, but that, like that, that's perfectly fine. Um, uh, and where I'm pulling that this data from is the public TOC work, working doc, so um, it makes sense to be able to add that in here. Awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Other questions, comments? All right. Um, I will send everyone back into their days because it seems like we are complete here. So. All right. Good to see all of you. Be well. Thanks. Bye all. Bye. Thank you.